Another beautiful day in the Keys. Sun is shining. Just put it in our kayak. Side of the road. Pretty strong north wind. I think let's tuck in under the US-1 for a little while. Maybe if this wind backs off a little bit, we'll comfortably poke around the mile out. I do really love just paddling through this water. Makes me feel very lucky every time. But the, the setting's truly, uh, really magnificent. Really thankful to be out here in February. Thinking about some of the things I was doing in my 20s, never would have thought it would end here. I was out here in December, it was very dirty. This is pretty good looking. Got at least seven, eight feet of visibility. It always looks calmer than it is when you're watching at home, but it's definitely white capping on that side. Rolling pretty good. Well, I see a couple of fish down there. I can't tell what they are. Definitely a little bit of aquarium action. Ah, small mangroves. Okay. Makes sense. What should we do? Ooh. No. No. Thank you. Not looking good at all. This is a, it's a grunt. We're gonna do something we both know I truly love to do. Call it trolling. I'm gonna get into probably six to eight feet of water to start. I've never tried this actually, so hey, that could be kind of fun. Maybe I'm gonna actually learn a couple things. Trial and error a little bit. gonna blow away <laughs> gosh what a Guggen I am got a fish here took me around this pot oh man I suck at this We gotta get our hat back. Can't believe I caught a fish trolling. Where's my hat? <laughs> Trying to keep it. This is on a Yozuri crystal minnow? Yeah, this is the crystal minnow. <laughs> what the frig? There is hope. And there's my hat. I've got to keep my eye on two things here. It's got to be a black tip shark or something like that. I mean, I'm trolling out in no man's land, 10 feet of water. Maybe not. I didn't get a good look at it. I think that was a grouper? I don't know what the heck that was. Mutton, wow. Big mutton on the troll. That's not very, uh, quite what we expected to, how to do it. Beautiful mutton on the troll. Shallow water diver. Okay. Gosh. And my hat's right there. Luck of the draw. Bop this mutton snapper trolling. <laughs> Gosh. It's a pretty nice one. Probably like 23 or 24 inches. Uh, I'm gonna actually put them back. 
Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's see if he goes. He, I think he did. <laughs> Just pick that fish off a flat. My hat blew away. Let's go get that and dry that off. All right, well, we picked up that mutton next to this trap. So there's gotta be some structure nearby. So I'm gonna make a few blind casts. This is about nine feet of water. So I wish that wind was a little bit more co cooperative. Hold till you find him, I guess. Black, I guess it's a rock then, okay. Really interesting. Why is this spot good? I have no idea. It doesn't look like anything special. Why did it have a 20, you know, 20 mid 20 inch button snapper on it? No clue. But let's keep working it. If anything, but it's gonna give up some fish. Quarter mile out. That's fine. a lot of these groupers on it though, huh? Oh my goodness. Oh goodness, oh goodness, that's a big fish. He's gonna wake up and he ain't gonna be happy with me. Goliath, okay, pretty cool, pretty cool. An eight foot of water Goliath. Pretty darn cool. Okay, pal, thanks for biting. <laughs> it's an eighth ounce barefoot jig. I'm in eight feet of water here. I'm just blind blind casting here and drifting. That's pretty cool though. Goliath grouper. I just see like a patch of small, like slight coral and one pothole in the middle. And I'm in 10 feet. Looks like there's scattered life in a few of these areas, so. A lot of yellow jacks here. Got a fish. start wonder what's the shallowest that can catch one of the, wonder what's the shallowest that can catch one of these guys spit up a crab too you know got an eighth ounce jig head on there three inch power bait there's almost uh, no current here 
Just that slow drop, small presentation for this area. I feel like that's the right move. Just need that wind to back off just a little bit. Got something there. What is it? Ooh, yellow tail. Ten feet of water, there's a, I don't know if that's a coral patch or a patch of weeds. He, he's gonna go back. We can do better than that. But, yeah, there's definitely something right there. What is it? Yellow jacks. Little ones. Chill, dude. Back to a little troll and come back here, I guess. I'm gonna go back to this small crystal minnow. So it was supposed to get pretty nice out. Uh, I don't think that's happening. I still have some time. I really would enjoy trying to, to pick the part this 10 foot stuff like that. That's uh, my biggest shallow mutton for sure. Really interesting. You don't need much to hold fish sometimes. So right there is the break. It drops into seven feet, so, and six, and it gets shallow quickly. I think that real shallow stuff, those fish are, they could be there, but I think with the conditions, I can't sneak up on much. It's gotta be another patch of fish somewhere here. Oh, snap, 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 snap. Oh my gosh, we gotta run this fish down. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh! I didn't realize I was gonna be down to the spool like that. Ooh, hoo, hoo, that was silly of me. I should have paid more attention. <laughs> it's the first time I've ever touched the spool of a. Slow trolling, dude, I was sleeping. Nothing going on. Okay. Oh, he got me on coral though. He's gone. Where is he? Ooh, we got lucky there, man. Usually you get into that stuff, it's over. Just gotta get that line back and then we should be good because that line is probably weakened up with all that coral hanging off of it. What on earth did we hook here? This is nine feet of water. This is a grouper. Another mutton. Stingray. It is a drum roll, please. A mutton, yep.
That's a really nice fish there. All right, let's keep this one. That 3DS minnow, man, it's crazy. All right, yeah, let's keep that guy. Keep him one fish today, I think. It's a good sized mutton right there. Another one on the, that was on the Yozuri 3DS minnow. I'm not catching many fish today. Conditions suck. And uh, yeah. It's a nice size mutton snapper though. Super grateful. Trolling through a couple of flats. They're about 10 feet of water. Um, it's like scattered structure there. And actually it's not much. I mean, probably should have lost that fish by all intents and purposes. But yeah, let's just keep one. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take the treble hooks off that plug and you know, that's the last one I wanna troll and put trebles in. Trebles are, you know what I could do too is I could crush the barbs down and make it a little easier. Uh, but yeah, let's just keep one fish so we got something. Got a couple of people back at the house I think would really appreciate having a mutton. So, yeah. Oh man, thank you. Thank you, mutton snapper. All right, I'm gonna push back out a little bit more then. Can't figure it out. I don't know. I feel like this is hard. Harder than jigging them is to, to locate them on the beach like this. Um, I feel like jigging them, there's something to kind of orient to. Here, I, I feel like I'm guessing, and that doesn't give me much confidence. But all things considered, given this weather, two muttons, you know, mid 20 inches, and uh, a Goliath to jig on the kayak, never tried that shallow. I've always kind of started in 12 feet. I wonder how many fish I'm spooking. Probably a lot, It's my guess. So this uh, swimmer is a surface swimmer. It's a Yoziri 3DS. Crush the barbs down for the rest of the day. I've never had much luck with this swimmer before, but uh, you know, I was fishing shallow and figured this would match a lot of the forage around here. So hopefully that paid off, right? Okay, uh, over here we got some random stru rando structure. What is going on there? All I know is we gotta get out of that structure. Good thing that's a grouper and he got me. I think that was a grouper. Lucky day to be a grouper.
Ah, yellowtail. I don't know about big yellowtails up shallow. Do the the, the, the larger yellowtails ever come into this 10 foot stuff? I don't, I don't know. For some reason I, I doubt it a little bit, but you never know, but I'm skeptical. Trolling is definitely a good way to catch a lot of fish. I kind of found myself moving off this style, so. All right, well I'm in three, three and a half feet now. <laughs> I don't think there's anything left. Let's bring this up. 